Okay, we're getting underway here. Uh, we're playing here at the Center Pocket Pool Room in Bowie, Maryland. Uh, a nice facility with uh, around 28 uh, diamond uh, uh, tables, uh, seven foot tables that are, that are just the standard of the industry with uh, Simonis 860 Tournament Blue, uh, Aramith uh, Pro Cup Balls with the Measles Cube Ball. As good equipment as these guys can ever ask to play on. And here we go. Thomas Haas won the break. A good break shot. That's as good as you could ever hope for. Make a couple balls on the break. The one over the hole. Two, two hanging near a pocket. And uh, just a... Uh, an excellent opportunity to get loosened up in a match like this and, uh, and, and, and start off strong. This is alternate break format, which means that if it goes to Hill Hill, Thomas has the extra break shot. And on a bar box, that's going to be uh, especially better. Did I drop off the mic, Andy Lincoln? No, uh, you're good now. Yeah. That was when I muted you by accident. Oh, okay. Oh, look at this. Thomas is al already, um, he's in the pickle jar here. And uh, somehow or other, I like him trying to tie up a ball. He hits it, good hit. He gets away with murder. Wow. Lu Lucas can can just hit this ball. I've never seen this this gentleman play yet. He's from uh, New York, or oh, that he's that's a sellout shot if I ever saw one. This is where you gotta gotta stay down. And make this ball plain and simple. Got to stay down. Just relax. Yeah, that's what I saw as well. Curtis uh, Fargo says he's from Connecticut. Just, just relaxing and uh, just let, just let the uh, the cue pump the hand, not the hand pump the cue. Good shot. He rolled it down to the five ball in the side pocket and got excellent, excellent position. On the correct side of the ball, this is. Another good shot. Now, I guess draw the ball straight back. Uh, maybe a straight bit of low right. Or he's going to follow it. Went two rails. Okay. Beautiful shot. That's as good as it gets. As good as it gets. Excellent. Thomas Haas gets on the board first, takes a one to nothing lead over Lucas Verner from out of Connecticut. Um, this is uh, 
three fouls in a row by the same player, same game, has lost a game. Uh, alternate break. The 10 ball does not count on the break shot. It gets respotted, and the breaker <coughs> has uh, is still at the table and has the option to shoot or push. Uh, there's one push out after the break, and I believe they're only playing cue ball fouls only at this event, not, uh, not all ball fouls. All shots are called, and the 10 ball can be made early if called on a combo or a carom or something. Good break from Lucas, and uh, he has a real, real nice opportunity in front of him. He's got, got a little, little work to do with the five ball. And the two to the three. This is, he's got some work to do, but it's still a good chance. Uh-oh. Might have to twist this ball rail first with lots of left. But he could still fall in shape if he's Maybe it's a little more than I think it is. <laughs> Good opportunity for young Thomas, who's only about, oh, I want to say 19 years old, maybe. I don't think he's in, in, the, in the 20s yet. He's a real young man. Uh, he started playing the regional events about four years ago when he was maybe just starting in high school. This is an excellent opportunity here to be sure. He's gonna get his line of sight from the five to the seven so he can fall correctly on the correct side of the five ball. That was what he just did. So Joy just told us that uh, Thomas is 20 years old. 20, yeah. He's, um, yeah. I, I started to see this young man about four years ago uh, coming down to tournaments with his dad. And uh, that's excellent. A little flat maybe, but I don't think it'll make any difference. He'll pound it to the cut pocket, high, high angle, let's go to the rail. Not too much angle. A little, a little, a, a, just, just, just uh, toss this ball in, perfect. Excellent. Got out real, real smooth there. Ball is conceded. Uh, two games to zero in favor of Thomas Haas. Now I thank Gina Cunningham of the Keller Williams Integrity Real Estate uh, outfit, and uh, she's a real estate agent uh, and long supporter of, uh, of pool tournaments. Thank you so much, Gina. So it looks like uh, Thomas has taken a five minute break. So we'll be right back. Okay. Lambros Q's uh, past master, one of the one of the true uh, geniuses uh, 
that that have built queues that uh, that have the greatest balance and the all-time great feel and touch and solid as anything I ever played with, and I played with them all. And uh, if, if Mike's listening to this uh, stream, uh, um, just uh, stay happy and healthy, Michael. And he does. He pops in periodically. And uh, Mike has uh, been a, a great supporter of uh, TTMD Billiard Streaming and a mentor. Um, I know when I first started out um, getting involved with um, the pool, the, pool uh, the business side of pool, and um, Mike has uh, been a great inspiration and has ha helped lead me down the right path. I'll tell you, there's a lot of things that goes on in pool that uh, it's nice to have someone that's been through it. So Thomas Haas returning to the table. Sporting his Joe Norton's tournament shirt today. Wow. I, I have to word that uh, Lucas uh, destroyed Brett Stottlemyre earlier, seven games to one. And What do you think about that? Um, I just, uh, it's hard to imagine anyone just walking up there and stepping all over Brett. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes, like I said earlier, he might have beat himself by letting two runouts get away and uh, something that could have been 5-3 or 4-4 four, four turned into 7-1. Yeah, yeah, it can happen. Short races. Anything can happen. So here we go. 2-0. Tom Haas on the break. Another, another wonderful break shot. Man. Shape on the one. This looks good. This is good, good, good stay right there for the two, the three. Uh, if the three passes the ten, this could be what those old New York guys used to call a Cosmo. In other words, a connect the dots wreck. <laughs> but uh, I don't know whether if the two passes the three, or three passes the ten rather. I wonder if, I guess that's got to be, that's pure. He should draw it back uh, and get straight in on the five in the side. All right. Wasn't his best. He has to come off the rail a little bit. And get a little flat on the six. Should be okay, though. Should be able to pop to somewhere around the center table. Uh oh, a little hiccup there. And the eight balls in deep. These are these are tight shelved pockets with these diamonds. A good stroke. The angle I like. He isn't going to be able to get that angle. Is from the from the bottom from the top rail, and out rather than uh, they'd have to uh, go into the right point. Here, lots of strange things can happen. I like to, to play at the, at the outside right point on the bottom of the ball, inside. Just like that. Just like that. Just like he called it, George. He's still a little short of his mark. He's uh, not knowing how fa quite how fast the table plays. 
He should go past the 10 a little bit, even with a slow roll. Oh no, he went around and played. That's a good play. Sweet. Three games to zero in favor of Thomas Haas. Excellent. Beautiful break and run from Mr. Haas. And now, uh, now Lucas has, has got to step up and, and apply that anticoagulant here called a break and run of his own right to stop the bleeding, to cease the sanguinous excretions. Anyway. Caleb, you may, maybe should have took that bet from Curtis. I don't know, what? you guys uh, sweating the match still? 24 diamonds and five nine-foot rasins. That's that's what that's what we got here. Center pocket. Nice break shot. Oh, how'd that six ball hang? That six ball did everything but go down. If Thomas has the one, he's going to be a happy lad. It might be close. Well, it's hard to bet against the Haas, I have to admit. Well. Oh, you were saying for him to take Haas, I got it. Yeah, he should have took it. That's a tough push out, really, because the. Looks like he's trying to push you to the jump. With, with the spin ball, you see the side pockets got him in a little bit on the rail first. He's going to give it back. He's odds on to give it back. I think Thomas baited him into this. I think uh, Thomas knew he wasn't going to give this back because he's this, this guy. Uh, he has to shoot. Yeah, Lucas is going to jump. Is going to jump at this ball. I think he's going to give it back. You think so? Right. Yep. No, I think he's going to jump it. He, he sat down. Uh, oh, he is giving it back. As well he should. Uh, if, 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 if this boy makes this ball, you know, uh, good for him. You know, uh, I'd, rather, I'd rather have somebody shooting this shot than me well, shooting it. Thomas pushed there, nothing. so he must have felt comfortable enough about going after it. Let's see how he does. He's on the rail, which will give him some extra extra leverage on this ball. Oh, and, and he wow. rats the pocket. And it's a nice effort. It was a great effort. It, it, here's the trouble with this one, though. The cue ball is going to get up table, and that six ball might filter up behind that five. If even if the one ball might go up behind the five. Even, even if he makes the six. Double kissed. Oh man. He can stay here now on this ball. What a, what a nice opportunity this is. Ooh. He just shoots speed to the pocket. To the to the to the left side of the six, just like that. Good pace. Perfect pace. 
No. But these are a lesson in themselves of teaching people how to play balls out of pockets is an art form. Yeah, I was talking to... about it earlier. Um, people take for granted because a ball sitting in the jaws that it's easy position in the next shot. But it's so easy to under hit balls, over hit balls. Catch them uh, too thick, yeah, too thin. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not easy. It takes people, you know, if you want to spend some time practicing on something, stick a ball on a, on a spot in the same corner or on the same side of the table as you've got a ball in the corner. Just practice get a good position because it comes up all the time with transitions from eights to sevens Th to nines. This shot lays natural to the two in the side. He'll play the three in the same pocket, I believe, or he's going to roll it. I can't tell. Good shot, a little past his mark. But his only bad mistake on this ball is if he comes up short, coming back up table from the three to the four. He's got a fast angle. And the four might play as a carom off the nine. Or he might even be playing the corner. He's playing the corner. Ah, uh, that's good news and bad news. Somebody might have to watch the lick here. He's going to get somebody to watch the lick. Play the nine. He's either going to call the five or get somebody to call the lick on the, on the carom on the nine ball. That's, yeah, he's calling for uh, somebody to call the lick. That's correct. This is what I tell all my students or aspiring uh, tournament or league players, whenever you have a situation like this, always get a tournament director or a referee or a neutral, and he's going to record it. Oh, right, technology. That's a good shot. Players, whenever you have a situation like He's got a... Always get anyway, just checking, it works. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be... Uh, the the, le the left-hand ball, uh, I don't know if he can hold this ball. I don't think he knows either. This is all the left English that ever existed. With three rails around. Oh, man. Oh, man, what a shot. That was a very delicate shot. Just roll forward a couple inches. Go and get a line of sight on it, Thomas. That's right. Get a line of sight on it. This is a big match. Four to nothing for Thomas Haas, a, a wonderful performance for the first half of this session. And uh, Lucas had one play on the one and he tried to bank it into the six and it double kissed and left Thomas uh, a one six combination, which uh, he uh, promptly uh, Cleared, cleared the table and uh, takes a 4 nothing lead. Thanks to Baltimore City Cues uh, for their 
their sponsorship of uh, this event and other other regional events in their uh, history. Thanks a bunch to them um, and uh, and to the new green room billiards. Uh, APA regional stronghold uh, in Maryland forever and ever. Leagues, tournaments, uh, qualifiers for Vegas, all that stuff. They have a great pro shop there. Uh, Charlie Fleming has a great pro shop. It does superior Q work. Looks like he, he overhit that break a little bit. He hit that break a little harder than he hit those other ones. Maybe that was just me and uh, the babblings of an old goat, but I don't know. But still, this is this is a, a demanding looking situation. Nonetheless, it's uh, he might push to the uh, to the six ball. See, he tied up balls there. He did the right thing when you have a uh, have a funky situation, and you know it might be multiple innings. You have to give yourself some insurance that you might get back to the table. That's why he tied up the six and seven, because he was probably knew he was uh, the favorite to sell out the one. But Thomas should catch a piece of this three, and that's going to probably propel him towards the rail where he just walked down. Let's see what happens. No, he had, he had the whole ball. Yeah, that was a good shot. That. Wow. Now, he was supposed to let that shot go and come two rails back and forth. A little too delicate with that shot. Well, you see, he hit the ball high and it skidded on him a yeah, little bit, yeah. really. And uh, you can roll the ball on the bottom and take the skid out of that shot. pointing there for yeah now you know these Artemis cushions on these diamond tables play real real fast good move there Thomas might have a three rail kick to play the five nine combo in the side. Come off his first diamond right, right across, go to the center diamond, uh, short rail, and then, then come back behind the five nine. No, that wasn't the right. 
He doesn't know the diamond system uh, as well as he shoots. He's getting locked up behind the yeah, nine. He's, he's going to get hemmed up here. He's going to bank. He should bank this into the six seven and break the six seven up is what he ought to do. He, that's exactly what he did. Except he locked up the seven. Yeah. Sometimes you don't get the rolls too. But he but he's going to have Thomas on two fouls here. Remember, folks, if three straight fouls by the same player, same game is loss of game. And with that pace, he kept everything nice and tight. So if Thomas does foul again, it's going to be a much easier play for a safety. That's that's all too true. He actually had a very easy hit on that that five ball the first time and went to the wrong wrong diamond. And didn't know the shot. But that's that's more than possible because you got to remember he can shoot him in, but this young man's only 20 years age, and all he's been able to see are racks for about five years. He hadn't seen him for 60 yet. Not tonight, hit tight. Yeah, so this is going to be a pretty Two. dire situation, I think. Yeah, I, I think, think he's, he's going to be uh, belly doing the seven ball. He's going to shoot. Uh, supposed, to, supposed to belly him on the seven. Do you put him between the six and the seven? No. I don't, I wouldn't give any space to any side rails. And I gotta draw, I gotta put the, I gotta put the ball uh, right on top of the seven. That's no good. Because, because he's given up. He's got a one, one rail kick. What's he, what's he? I don't even know what he's doing here. He, done, he, he had a one rail kick at the uh, with the bridge over the uh, six ball. We see he cut off the side rail. This could be a this could easily be a spinning uh, two rail shot from the right hand. No, not that. He might be able to get around that that, that seven ten, but so he looks like he's going to go two rails. He's going to go back, forth, and then back again with a little right hand ball. It'll usually flare wide, like that. That's Just like it. He called it. It'll flare wide. So three fouls. Lucas Varner on the board. Burner, not Varner, Lucas Burner. And, and the fact is, is that this boy won a game without making a ball. And uh, and now he's on the break, and if he breaks and uh, and, and clicks, all of a sudden he's in Back gear in and it's 4-2. Lucas Werner to break. Down one game to four. Good break shot. Made some balls in the side Settled pocket. Settled the cue ball. Perfect. Just squatted. He six, the six and nine, or uh, yeah, he just he just gave you the old hand wave on the six nine. This guy's 20 years old, and he's already got this, the hand waves down cold. That's a pretty sporty shot. It, it is, but uh, this is a uh, this is he's a 40, 60, 30, 70 dog to run out. I like the three rail uh, from that last game there.
That's a good shot. See here, he's going to have to roll the marbles and and either punch the ball into the six, which is, or play to the bank. And with the bank, I don't I don't know if he has any uh, any real market uh, for position. He might stay there, and that's the best he could say. Oh, a tragic kiss. But, yeah, the 7 and 10 locked up. A 7 and 10 might might be, oh, it's wired. Look at this, look at this, look at this. It's wired. Oh, no, it's wired. Well, take a look, Thomas, it's wired. Yeah, that ball's wired. Take a look at it, Thomas. He hadn't even looked at that. This is this is higher percentage, but take a look at it. It's wired. You can put the cue ball in without throwing it. Well, I guess he's going to play his shot. Lock him up on the ten, and this is where this is where having yeah. Now he's looking. I still like the I still like him playing the seven ten. I, I, we, we, we got an outstanding look at it, and it, and, it, and if it's anything, it might be just ever so slightly into the left center of that pocket. I was going with the safety, but he's got he's got the bottom rail, so it's uh. It, 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 it didn't, he didn't do himself any nah, favors with that. he's even got the long rail, too, I believe. No, he doesn't. No? I don't think so. He's, he's, he's bellied on that ball. He might. It's, it's, it's from my vantage point, it's hard to say. It, it, he has to, sh has to shoot, to cut this off real quick. He can only come across the... Left hand, it's in my, it's belly does, I think, there, son. Might not be. Good hit. That was as good, that was as good as he could have hoped. Uh, it bought him another turn at the table, maybe. As long as Thomas doesn't get greedy. He was he was uh, showed the discipline to play the safe one the first seven. Ralph, I tend to agree with you. It's um, it's kind of a sellout shot if you don't make it. Good safety play. It's probably the smart shot. Yeah, he doesn't he doesn't have any guaranteed position. This, this is why you can't give people turns at the table. Regardless of whether they're offensive or defensive. But let's see what he does. He's going to probably bank the ball. Yeah, he's playing it cross side. And sold out. Not an easy shot, kind of, but he isn't tree topped really because uh, his bridge hand is to the left a little bit and he isn't going to be coming right over the 10 ball. He's, he's doing all that stuff, so he must like his seven pretty much. At least based on the body language I've just observed. He's actually got a perfect speed slot with the 10 ball to help him line this shot up. It's a hanger. Yeah. He dogged the ball though. 
and it still left it tough. Can Thomas go rail first and maybe pocket the seven? But I don't know. It's he, he runs into the nine. Exactly. I don't see much uh, benefit there. Maybe come off the short round, just try to bump into the seven, bump it on the other side of the ten. I don't know if you go after this shot. Try to hit it with um, almost pocket speed and leave the cue ball up on the seven. Come off of that uh, short rail. Go off of the long rail here. I think you're going to run the risk of even scratching or hitting the nine ball. Nine balls got him again. Whoa, what a, what a game this is, huh? Roger, yes, it is on YouTube and Facebook. He might hit the point. No, he hits it. Is he gonna get a roll? Eight, nine looks like a pretty yeah, good Yeah, I combo. think that that's a pretty, uh, Pretty sure bet there. Four games to two. Folks, I'm going to step away for just a second and leave you in the uh, capable hands of George Hammerbacker. I'll be right back. Okie dokie. Four to two, and uh, this is, this is uh, a huge, huge break shot for Thomas here. I, I won't stop you. I won't stop you. Four games to two. This is a big break shot because the last break shot, it looked like from my, my look that he hit it a little harder than he hit his first couple. And uh, those, those second balls didn't go in the side pockets like they're supposed to. There he slowed his break down. And that's a picture layout here, folks. A picture layout, uh, picture. That's right. Take your time to get him. Right back to where you are is is, is uh, highly acceptable. Oh, how? But these are four and a half inch pockets. Uh, these aren't tables that were built to vend quarters like uh, some of your traditional coin op tables that you'll see uh, around the country uh, that I've played on. That, uh, that, that was a huge miss. He got fortunate. Thomas got very fortunate there that he ran into the eight ball. A slow roll to the three with the right English. Hope for the best. Sold out. This is a shot you tuck him on top of the six and chew him up. Between the six and the cushion. Just like that. Good shot.
Yeah. This is a monster game in a set to seven. On your break to go up 5-2 versus a 4-3 and the other guy breaking. This is a humongo game to be sure. No strike. That looks like a great angle from the four to the six. And he's getting his, his line of sight, which is something I recommend all my students to do is get the line of sight, which is what he just did. He should f just come a little bit off the rail on the six. A little, a little straighter than he might have liked, but He's again he's getting he has to get down there a little bit on the seven. He's gotta go forward just a hair, I would think. Take another look. That's right. Oh, he three railed that ball. Now it's just a punch, a punch to the middle of the table. Short. This is this is where people make mistakes. This is a, this ball is a little skinny. Big game here, huge game. That's a good shot, that should be a little past 50 yard line, but he's, uh, he might get a little close to the 10 off the second rail and that's what, uh, that's what the shot looks like, but Again, I haven't hit balls on these tables, so I don't really know quite how they're going to react coming off that second rail so much. And I've been sitting here all day. This is this is this is tricky because a ball like this is subject to skid. He's going to draw his ball. He's going to he could lose it. This is huge. Take your time. You kind of jump down there again. He uh, he's still got some work to do. We got to back cut the ten and watch the two railer in the side pocket on his side. Let's got to stroke the ball and stay down and be and be pure. Tough game. Very tough game. Very tough game. Good shot.
Thomas Haas takes a five to two lead. And uh, he's starting to huff and puff here a little bit. Yeah. This boy hadn't gotten the rolls, I'll say that for him. A great break shot and parked the Pelota dead amidships. Hit it rock solid, but uh, gonna have to roll out. He's gonna roll. Might roll the six into the two or It's hard to say what he'll do. He did roll the six into the two. <laughs> All right. I'm on a roll here, fans. Cyber sweaters. I'm on a roll here. These are tough pockets. Uh, Thin ball here. Oh, he's going to come off the rail and, and kip. That's a smart shot. I don't know if I'd, if I'd have done that. This is where he's coming down table behind the eighth ball. No, you got no don't don't don't, don't jack it, you gotta flat this ball. You're gonna go down behind the eight. He can hit it. He can hit it, I think. Thin ball and uh, back where he is. Try to hit it thin. Good shot, but he runs into the eight ball. He he might he might get out moved here. Oh.
This is uh, why he didn't jump in this ball is beyond me. He's going to try to go three rails into it. No. I don't, I don't think he wanted to break it up, George. I think he was either, if he went for the jump, he felt like he'd rather go for the kick and try to just hit it easy. He, he, wired, up the, up. he, he wired up the he, he, two he six. Wired up, yep. Well, but this, this boy ended up out moving him with a, 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 a roll of safes along that cushion. <laughs> These balls are uh, looking fairly uh, routine to me. Thanks, thanks for the kind words, Paul. And Brian, thank you uh, for the kind words. Five games to three in favor of t young Tom Haas. Uh, he's on the break. Uh, five games to three. Thomas led off his, uh, let let a bit off his last break and uh, broke and ran out. Just don't hit him as hard as you hit him. You hit him too hard again. When that happens, the uh, the second ball takes too much draw and goes up above the side pocket. This looks like a, a, a pretty respectable looking layout to me. A shoot and stop on the two, shoot and stop on the three. Not even, don't even try to play any position here. Right, right, right in there. You, that, that's the wheelhouse. The four's in the open. The only tough ball is the five in this rack. The shoot and stop. Don't even try to get piggy with this. Well, he did. He'll get closer to the three, but that doesn't doesn't change the price of eggs, Annie. He might brush the ten here a little bit. Yeah. He's going to be, might be playing up to that nickel dimer. Draw on the inside and, uh, and play to the 5-10 the, the combo would be my educated guess. Or is he going to play to the side on the five ball? Doesn't make much sense. That didn't make any sense. If it doesn't make dollars, it doesn't make sense. Now he's he's got himself. Uh, he could. Was he trying to draw back into the ten, George? He uh, was playing. No, he's playing to the five and the side. What for the six, seven? I might as well play the draw ball to, to the cash ball, the five into the ten. 
He's subject to dog it from here. That six ball is is gonna get is gonna get to his left maybe and, and drive the top on the rail like this. Oh that's nice. He got away with it, but you see the six is gonna drop to the rail in that spot. And uh, if his, if he left his cue ball high and dry out there. Yeah, he definitely he needed to get the cue ball out towards the center table to count for the six. Well, he's pointing down there and doing all that stuff. Uh, he's the one that hit it. Now he's just got to make you got to stay down and um, and, and just uh, cut the eight ball in and come out about a foot and shoot pull like that. That was a huge, a huge game. He's going to be breaking. Oh, yeah, within one. Yeah. After being down what four one. Four, four one, four nothing. Five games to four. Now you see, I'm starting to see a little glide in this boy's stride. Well, I won't get into everybody's business, but um, Lucas went for a significant amount in the players' auction. And. Uh, I don't expect he's just going to lay down here. He's fighting right back. Uh, here's a here's a boy that uh, drove 400 plus mi 300 about no, about 220 or 40 miles, 60 miles from Connecticut down to here. You can more than rest assured uh, he ain't going to be fighting 995 in the Big Apple traffic and uh, in the winter time. For, uh, so George is saying he came here to play, no doubt. Uh, yeah, you, you could say that. We got lots of lots of tough matches going on across. I can see on these other tables, two uh, veteran uh, players that have played a million times are playing. Uh, Steve Fleming and Tony Long. Look at this break shot. Man, oh wow! Seven Four and balls. eight. Oh, look out to seven and eight. Yeah, he, he gave the old hand flip again. But but usually in, in any kind of rotation sport, this has been my uh, experience that you always have to do one very special thing to run out every rack, regardless of uh, how easy it might look. And his seven and eight is gonna be uh, where it, that's gone. Oh, wow. He doesn't even have the rail first on that because the side pocket's in his way, I think, on that side rail angle. But that's... Yeah, he's going to have to jump this ball. To no reward. Uh, Sean Wilkie, last time I checked, was still in. And Mike Soleil, I believe, is shooting right now. Ed, Eddie Friedman, uh, I, I thought I saw you back there sparring one pocket in the uh, in in the uh, soundproof booth there. I was looking for looking for Maxwell Smart, you know, and, and the Chief in '99 back there. <laughs> Eddie Friedman, a uh, uh, guy I've known forever. So George, you've had quite a few people pop on here tonight and say hi. They know you. Uh, they're all saying you sound great. Yeah, I, I appreciate that. It's nice that I can still sound. Uh, oh, nice he, jump shot. he fires at home. I should have switched the other camera for that. That's all right. As I end the refrain, thrust home. So spake Cyrano de Bergerac. Now. We're going to see some Yankee ingenuity, perhaps, in a monster game here. This is a monster at 5-4, at and uh, his break shot. Oh, 
I don't think he really wanted to make that ball. But that's... Uh, it looks like um, Sean He's Wilkie. taking the time out. Looks like Sean Wilkie's locked up with um, John Moody at the moment. John Moody, uh, another Eastern Shore gentleman uh, from Cambridge, Maryland. Uh, uh, real, real classy player. Uh, owned a couple of pool rooms in his time. A uh, great slates room in Cambridge. He also, also had uh, uh, a break time down in Salisbury. That's another one of these players that uh, just really carries himself exceptionally well. You'll never see him get too uh, high, never too low. Just stays nice and even around the table all the time. I saw him playing down at the International. Uh, he went down to Virginia Beach to tackle the Titans down there last fall, you know, around that that Pat Fleming tournament in uh, uh, early, late October, early November with with the best players in the world down there at the, at the time it was the field was kind of thinned out because of the the covid and the travel restrictions and all but uh but i saw john down there uh a real classy gentleman to be sure and he had a great slates room in cambridge he played there on several occasions on, on tours and places uh, and and then break time down there in Salisbury right across from the uh, Salisbury uh, University So George is it kind of odd to see someone taking a break in the middle of the rack like this just put their stick down and take a walk off in the middle of the, the table well you see you see I would I would have uh, a little misgivings about this and this is now we're in this age of technology that he isn't going to a coach or a mentor on the text and, and that that's sweating this with him and what would you do in this spot right. coach right now I got it I got it and you know it just feels a little odd to me and from a sportsmanship standpoint, I, I think um, I'm not sure how I feel about it. Well, the thing the thing with all this is is uh, that loopholes are loopholes. <laughs> well, I, I saw Thomas taking a minute and hit some balls on the free table over there, trying to stay loose. But this is also sort of like icing the kicker. You know what I mean? You, you just sort of trying to take the opponent out of his groove as well even if you're out there just like you said maybe there was some coaching going on I'm not saying there is but I wouldn't go that leap but you know this certainly takes your opponent out of the out of his rhythm Eddie how's 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 your son Joe doing I do I do know some people you're really not supposed to hit balls on a timeout. Yeah, I, I definitely hear you there. That's, Andy. I, that's I, did, I definitely hear you, and I, I, I agree. But what are you supposed to do when a guy walks away from the table in the middle of the match? Yeah. I got it. I hear you. I'm not one to hit balls anyway, but that's, you know. That's a sellout, I think. It's close. How's the other look? Sleep at the switch, George. Oh, Sleep yeah. at the switch. He's gonna have to maybe get up on the soapbox a little bit and uh, and, and call the Twisto and call Dr. Twisto. And as my old saying goes, you gotta spin it to win it. Thank you for that, Andy. That's huge. Ho, Glutton. I'm sweating. I'm sweating him a little bit. Uh, Thomas, yeah, I guess I was partisan then because I didn't like that, what he did either. That, that was somewhere between rude and common. 
but then that's only my opinion. And well, what I will say is they're both young players, and uh, and you know, sometimes you learn as you go, you know, so to speak. So maybe he listens to the commentary later and says, "Hey, this, maybe this I'm looks, do that next time." This this looks pretty tasty. He fired it in like uh, he did last summer. And He's going to go ahead and give him that uh, last ball. Yes, indeed. And, and that puts uh, Thomas, uh, he, he uh, ascends the precipice. He is on the hill. Oh, those two are friends off the table. That's what Joy says. Uh, uh, well, okay, well that makes it that makes a bit of difference, Joy. It certainly does. Uh, you, you, you know, I I only I only know the one boy, uh, Thomas. I uh, you know know him well, and uh, this other lad I've only haven't seen him, you know. Uh, but Thomas the break on the hill, leading six games to four. One goes down. He might have to he might have to twist around the three ball. I don't know if he's got this or not. I don't think he does. He might. Might have to put the left uh the left key Bosch on this glutton. <laughs> Somewhere between rude and common. <laughs> thanks, Brandon. Uh, th thanks for the kind words. <laughs> <laughs> and to your point, Joy, um, he might have even asked Thomas, and it, because they're friends, it was no problem at all. He felt comfortable enough to ask. Push him to another jump, I think. Oh, that's a little tight. But if he makes this, he, he gets it back. He pointed t back to Thomas, I think. He did. Let's see what he comes up with here. All right, airborne. The lead, table six. It was windy out there today, Wayne, as I was coming down here. Hopefully the wind currents don't catch his cue ball. Is it? Oh. Well, he did a good job settling that cue ball. If he had to carry it quite a distance, it's a good shot. Yes, indeedy. It was a little hippity hop to the barber shop. Boy, I'm, I'm hearing the shriek of the sweaters back there. The Calcutta sweaters, that I, is. We are hearing it. The, the shriek of the mutilated. That one of their, one of their, one of their boys is uh, gone and they're gonna be out of the dough. And the other one's gonna survive. I've been there, done that. That's getting the rolls now. You see, see how he rolled just to the side of the six where he doesn't have to in jacked up over the six on this angle. And he can come out to the five down there in the in the corner pocket. He doesn't have to do anything, uh, do anything uh, funky with the rock here. He might be playing to the side. Good shot. Use that eight ball as a stopper. Nicely done. 
Still got a little steep of an angle, Wayne. Just a slight steepster. He would like to bend straighter on this yeah, ball. Yeah, no question. He doesn't like it. Yeah, I think you got to maybe try to come down to the uh, long rail. I'm mean, excuse me, to the short rail and come back up for the six. I don't know if he can hold it with just draw here. It's a delicate shot. He might end up with the six in the side. Yeah, oh. that's it. That's the shot. That was stylish. Pretty sweet. He gets he gets to actually uh, draw over to the seven and to the top pocket. He can't. Oh, I don't think he can go uh, to the seven to the pocket where this magic rack's laying. He's got to go up top where he's looking. That's perfect. He's got a little little angle coming out towards the eight. Now all he's got to do is, is stay down, get that magic rack out of there first. Yeah, exactly. He's going to be bridging on it for crying out loud. That's actually a turtle rack, but who's who's saying? We just call it templates these days and get away with it. Yeah. He drills the joker home. If the pocket was in the inner harbor of Baltimore, it was in. Does it go two rails again on the must. other side? Yeah. Yes. We saw him do this earlier. Nice shot. Three rails. The condemned man ate a hearty meal. So Thomas Haas to win the match. Move on. Well done. 